not living in Fallout in real life? When I'm just driving around in my little power armor poop car, listening to this kind of shit on my pit boy. bringing you shots of my feet and audio of my radio speakers and my car playing music so you can hear the improvements in my fix. Especially fine tuned for you to evaluate on whatever you're watching or listening on. I just need to talk to them. Yeah, I would say about 80, 90% of my lyrics. That's what you asked about my lyrics. Yeah, my lyrics were written at work or on the go, I'm just driving around, listening to my shit, coming up with words. Uh, next question. stopped because I thought all of these things were deer but he's up there don't drop it oh I can't look easy boys easy don't drop it come on I ain't got all no, for fuck's sake <laughs> That's cool. That's why three out of four choosy moms are always shitting like they know something. Yeah, I work at a delicatessen. We were cutting up the meats and they were like, the northern lights are on outside. And I'm like, but we ain't in the north, we ain't in the south. And they're like, that's what I like about the south. And I was like, okay, let's go out and see the shit. So I went outside and I was just like, man, I'm just standing there with my meat in my hand. So I was just standing there with my meat in my hand, right? Like not not my actual meat, but the meat I was cutting up on the on the on the bone saw. And uh man, if it didn't just slept right on my house, just like the baloney right on the sidewalk as I was just staring up at the sky and I'm just like, wow, I ain't never seen nothing like that in my entire life. It just kinda like took the voice right out of my mouth. You the song? Jimmy, you are looking at the author of Little Brown Car. M goes to see Sleep Token, and I'm just conveniently not able to go. <laughs> I'm not saying her, her. What the heck, man? What the heck? Get the fucking excuse. Mm. Make that juice. Yeah. Hey guys, he's stuck. Get out of there. Let's just let the dark and snow. <laughs> stuck with spare mints that they got from the pillows, and then they didn't need to put them into the hotel rooms because they're already fully booked. And so we got the mints, and that's all we had to have after dinner because we can't really afford to go to uh, fancy restaurants and have desserts like everyone else. And, and and I don't know how to make desserts from the supermarket, so we just eat the mints, and then we have like freshest breath ever. It's gonna take us to get our nails done for our birthdays. So I gotta think of something for her. I'm so bad at getting gifts. Don't say Malkimo. I got us some Malkimo. I said don't say that. <laughs> yeah, you look really hot in that shirt. Shh. Oh, what are you? <laughs> 
Jules. Go to hell! Hey, me. I'm just trying to get home. Scott is climbing over the top of them churches. You, uh, yeah, we have hillbilly races. Hillbilly races. In 1,000 feet, use the left two lanes to turn left on the Georgia 120 West. I'll try. I don't know. I don't know how I got here, but <sighs> gotta think quick. The light. Use the left two lanes. Left two lanes. The Georgia one. This tooth growing out of my hand. What the fuck? Give me my Buy a game. Continue on Highway 53 East for five miles. It won't be long now. I like it this time. Your boobs fit just fine. I want to have sex with something at the gas station right now. <laughs> you guys want to pull another one out of the bucket? How, how fucking hard would that have been? You put on the, the, the coat, you had the setup, you had the shot, you're in the store. You guys want to do another book and pull or nothing? Or what? That, see, I can't even do the line now. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking chaos up there. I'm glad we came down here. <laughs> we'll swim somewhere else. Same. Yeah, dude, well, we can't legally show you anymore, so... Nervosa is a track that has gone through several different versions. Um, there is a fully recorded version that I did in 2019. Then I started again from scratch with basically new lyrics for this version. And I had a lot of ideas in mind. I had these melodies and concepts in mind long before I put the track together, but they all kind of spontaneously came together over a weekend. And um, I think it's I think it's gonna be one of my strongest songs. This song was influenced by a lot of different songs from different eras and, and, and different points in my life. And I think the strongest influences are probably Tool and Phil Collins in the air tonight, Jam By, uh, stuff like that. But I think it's still my own. What I'm trying to do right now is get all the stuff that I currently have for the album without vocals, just instrumentals, so I can lay out everything and First off, see what I have, and then, yeah, excuse me. Then we're ready for vocals. I think, I hope. 
I still have like a little bit more of instrumental stuff. Oh, that's nice. They have a little sitting area now. Fancy. It's even more vintage than it was before. Do they have a sign out there yet? No, not yet. The original one fell off. Oh, yeah. Did you ask them about uh, chicken salad and giving some? I don't know exactly how we know. Mm -hmm. Last time we just ordered some once before. Yeah, uh, it smells so good. Yeah, we ordered some once before. I sometimes shoot sideways too. This childish hypothesis of yours is going to cause a plethora of ambiguity. Answering the door, looking like everything's normal. Guys, what is this? This is a cease and desist. I don't understand from whom, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna have to come with us. Uh, Adora, dad will be right back. Me right now, but I'm working. Uh, this is Mason from Liminality. I was told to come here.
I'll say you later. <laughs> Hell yeah. Times are different. We're not cowboys anymore. We're Bovestrian men. Or women. Bovestrian men are confident in themselves. Boys! Woody! I'm coming for you guys! Hang on! Look at that. It was only like, what, a month ago that we were looking at that first little sprout right here. And uh, it's turned into this whole ugly ass piece of shit fucking plant. Nice job doing nothing. And I'm just kidding. You should always talk nice to plants. And those savings are anywhere from 17 to 24 cents a pound. Not a bad protein food. Oh, there's one tree. cinematography. Alright, see you later. Well, we almost caught it, guys. <laughs> Just wait a few minutes. I did. I waited the entire time. Wait again. It was like nine minutes. Oh my god. Did you get it? No. Well, I got it doing what it just did. Now it's pissing me. four-hour podcast in the Amazon jungle and gigantic eyes from a guy in a suit body size. Huge. look at his oh, eyes geez. hey little moth <laughs> traffic <laughs> traffic to the jungle and then for everyone listening as we're by a Cuban intelligence officer. Montez's father was a U.S. Army doctor and her siblings worked for the FBI. One of her first... I think that would work.
is fine. We're never too cool to stay in school. Another plane? Okay, cut. Dora, don't look at me. Why do you have to be so cute? Like fat. What are you doing? You little sneaky bastard. Giving me some snow. Giving me the thumbs up. A novelty in Russia. Say, how about the smiling Irishman? this regularly since the endless days. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And now we've been fortunate to have pretty good neighbors. <sighs> yeah, this is good. Guys, we got some tape in the wild. Some random audio. You know what? Let's just stash that for later. You never know. Just us. We're coming uh, in. We, we came back because our dog was barking. Uh, Sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. It's also a good time because I got a piece of bed. No, I'm sincerely overwhelmed with joy right now. I'm just uh, very happy 
to, uh, to, uh, uh, I'm happy to, I'm happy to, <laughs> and scene. This is liminality. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy. God damn, dude, you suck at improv. Thank you.